Okay, this is Calf Angle Identity Help. Okay, first, the question is going to be find the exact value of tangent of 7 pi over 8. Well, first of all, if we're going to use the half angle identity, let's take a peek at it. It's right here. The tangent, it's plus or minus square root of 1 minus cosine of theta over 1 plus cosine of theta. How do we know to use that? Well, if you take a look at the problem, it's 7 pi over 8. We don't know what 7 pi over 8 is. And if we actually took this and doubled it, we get 7 pi over 8 times 2 is 14 pi over 8, or three, 1 and 3 quarters pi. So 1 and 3 quarters pi is something we know. 1 and 3 quarters pi is like our angle if we cut that in half. So we have tangent of some angle divided by 2. And you can see over here I have my triangle. It's in the fourth quadrant because 1 and 3 quarters, remember that, that we have 1 quarter to go here. That's a half pi, pi, 1 and a half pi, 1 and 3 quarters pi. Now I made the hypotenuse 1. You could have made it anything. And then we go square root of 2 over 2 and negative square root of 2 over 2 because we're in the fourth quadrant. Or, or are they the legs? It's 45, 45, 90 triangle. So you could have made this any ratio. It will end up turning to be the same. Now, we have our identity. And I'm going to choose the negative of the choices, plus or minus. You always got to decide which is it, the plus or the minus. And I know it's negative because tangent of 7 pi over 8, tangent in the second quadrant, if you take a look at an angle in the second quadrant, which is just before pi, pi would be right at 180 degrees. So it's just before pi. So it's somewhere around here. Well, the y value over the x value will be a positive number over a negative number. So it's going to be a negative answer. OK, so I chose that. And then now I'm going to fill in. the values for cosine. I know that in this triangle, cosine is square root of 2 over 2 over 1. So I'm just going to put 1 minus cosine. So 1 minus square root of 2 over 2. And then 1 plus square root of 2 over 2. So I had 1 plus the cosine at the bottom. Now, I need to add these. So I get a common denominator of 2. All right, and so if you take a look at that right here, the, when I add to them, it get, becomes 2 minus square root of 2 over 2 and 2 plus square root of 2 over 2. The 2's cancel. And I get 2 minus square root of 2 over 2 plus square root of 2. Now I'm going to multiply by the, re, the uh, conjugate of the bottom. That way, I can get rid of the square root in the denominator. So when I do that, I multiply this, distribute those things out. You can see what happens here. This is the same thing happening twice. On the bottom, I FOIL 2 times 2 is 4. And the middles cancel. And radical 2 times radical 2 is 2, but I have a negative there. So I end up getting here in a purple 2 minus square root of 2, and that's all squared, over 2. Well, the square root of the top becomes 2 minus square root of 2. Carry that negative. On the bottom, I add just square root of 2. And then I got square root of 2 over square root of 2 to get rid of the denominator. And I get square root of 2 over 2 or times 2 is 2. On the top, I distribute that out. And I get negative 2 square root of 2 plus square root of 4. And I get negative 2 square root of 2 plus 2 on the top over 2. I can reduce out that negative and, sorry, the, the, the 2 on the bottom, and I get 1. Here's our 1, and here is our negative square root of 2. So 1 minus square root of 2 is our answer to the exact value of tangent of 7 eighths pi.